Hi, I'm Jeff with Blackout Lighting Console, and if you're confused about what the difference between the Rat Pack AKS and the Astera Art 7 box is, and what they do or how they connect to Blackout, I'm gonna answer that in this video. Plus, stay tuned for an Astera hack you won't wanna miss. This is the Rat Pack AKS, and it's one of my favorite tools because it's an all-in-one device. It has a Wi-Fi router, DMX gateway, and CRMX, or Lumen Radio transmitter, all in one shell with a battery. So you can clip this onto your belt and connect directly to this Wi-Fi from your iPad. And because it's a Wi-Fi router, it will send out an IP address to your iPad. So there's no manually configuring IPs or anything like that. It's just plug and play. It then sends DMX out wirelessly through this transmitter to any receivers or any lights that have Lumen Radio or CRMX built in. That's what makes this so powerful. You can also send this DMX through its dongle. So this dongle connects directly into here and you can now plug this into a gateway. You can also send it data via ethernet. So you could send Artnet or SACN directly into this ethernet port. This is the Astera Art 7 box. And although it has two antennas, it's different from the AKS. One of them is also a CRMX or Lumen Radio transmitter, but the other one is Astera's 2.4 gigahertz proprietary protocol that they use to configure and send data to their Astera tubes. This is how you're able to see battery percentage, change the addresses, change the modes, put the theft alarm on. It's all through Astera's proprietary protocol and it has nothing to do with DMX or CRMX. The only way to get DMX into this unit because there's no ethernet port, it does not have Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth, but you can't send DMX to this unit over Bluetooth. You have to use this dongle that they give you with this 3.5 millimeter jack. This dongle is how you get DMX into this unit, meaning you have to go in from a gateway such as this Obsidian EN4. So this is where you would plug this in to get DMX. And obviously you would need to send this Artnet or SACN over ethernet. So that's the main difference between the Art7 and the AKS. Now, if you pay attention closely between all of the radio pins and the pairing and everything that's going on, what you may have missed is that the radio pin that you set for this box in the iPad or the tablet that you are using to connect to this, is independent of the box. It is what is in the tube that allows the app to see it when you have that radio pin selected in the top right sidebar. Now, because it's independent of the box, you could actually swap boxes with another box, connect up to it through your tablet, and put that same radio pin in and you would see all of those same lights appear in your app. Now, why is that useful? Well, if we take that one step further, you can use one box with several different radio pins to talk to different sets of Asteras. So one thing that I like to do on my show is I have a main Astera Art 7 box that I use to configure all of my Asteras. And I'll usually have a backup that I set up as well, just in case something goes wrong with the first unit. But this unit, say I'll pick a pin number, 3333. This will be connected to the first, say, 50 Asteras that I have in my rig. Uh, maybe they will do one section of a set, and then I'll have another 60 tubes that does another section of a set. We all know that anything more than like 40, 50, Astera products in one app, it starts to bog down and get pretty slow. So dividing them can help you conquer and speed up the app. So if I have one set at pin 3333, I can then just switch the pin number to 3334 and I can see an entirely different set of Astera fixtures. Now, again, when you blue mode your Astera tubes and you pair them to the app, you are in essence setting the radio pin on that unit. That radio pin only lives in that light. So if I have this set to 3333 and I pair this with my first 50 tubes, 
all of those tubes will have radio pin 3333 in them. Then if I switch the app to 3334, and then I pair my next 50 Astera tubes, I will then have another set on a fresh page where I'm not seeing any of the 3333 numbers and just the new radio pin. So at any point, I can now flip between radio pins and see a different section of Astera's. And that will greatly help you in speeding up looking at or configuring your Astera products. So there's one caveat, which is, this is really only good for those film shoots that plan on using the Art7 boxes purely for configuring their Astera products. If you plan on using Astera's app with the Art7 to set levels and create sync and flow sets with your Astera products, then setting the different pins and switching them halfway will only mess you up. But if you have these purely for configuration and then you're gonna send this box DMX and use the CRMX that you're sending from your board or blackout, this may be a great hack for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.